Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for seventh grade. This is Unit 8, Lesson 6, Estimating Probabilities Using Simulation. The objective states I can simulate a real-world situation using a simple experiment that reflects the probability of an actual event. So a simulation is where we create something uh, that is very similar to what would happen in the real world so that we can control it and we can look at probabilities and perform experiments with that. Uh, we're going to look at this lesson summary and uh, look to see if we can understand these objectives of how simulations or what we can learn about probabilities of events. So let's number the paragraphs. We have paragraph 1, 2, 3, and 4. In paragraph 1 it says, suppose a bag contains 5 blocks. If we select a block at random from the bag, then the probability of getting any one of the blocks is 1 out of 5. Because there's five different colors of these blocks, there's five different blocks in the bag. We could pull out any one of those out of the five that are in the bag. Paragraph two, now suppose a bag contains five blocks. Some of the blocks have a star and some have a moon. If we select a block from a bag, then we'll either get a star block or a moon block. The probability of getting a star block depends on how many there are in the bag. So if we look at this first bag, the one on the left, um, you can see that there's one star and four moons. And if we look at the bag on the right, the second bag, we have three stars and two moons. Paragraph three, in this example, the probability of selecting a star block at random from the first bag is one out of five because there's just one star block. So the probability would be one fifth. I always like to put boxes around the word because so it stands out. I can find that rationale later. The probability of getting a moon block is four out of five because there's four of those out of the five blocks that are in the bag. The probability of selecting a star block at random from the second bag is three fifths or three out of five because it contains three blocks. So three of the five blocks are star blocks. The probability of getting a moon block from the bag is 2 out of 5, or 2 fifths, because 2 out of 5 of the blocks are moons. Paragraph 4, this shows that two experiments can have the same sample space, but different probabilities uh, for each outcome. So sample space is, the, as we know, we've learned, um, that is the possible outcomes. So your outcomes in this first scenario uh, was to either draw out a moon block or a star block, and that's the same as over here. You could draw out a moon block or a star block. So the sample space can be the, the same even though the probabilities can change depending upon what's in the bag. If we look back at our objective, this talked nothing about simulations, but we did talk about probabilities of events and gained a little more insight. So to meet this objective, I'm going to have to look elsewhere in this lesson um, or in other learning before or after this lesson to better understand simulations. Thanks for watching.